All a daughter ever wants is her dad. I want to go on more road trips with him. I want to smell his garden sauce cooking. His cologne. Let it be no, these tears are not for you. Just to clarify. The way he walked down the hallway with purpose and a spring in his step. His deep belly laugh. I want to hear him tell me more about the olive trees in Palestine. I want to hear his voice. I want to hear my dad's voice. My Baba's voice. I am uncertain there will ever be enough justice for what has happened at the hands of a terrorist. That's you. However, I know one thing for sure, that this monster who murdered my father and the other beautiful souls that day in March is a coward. That would be a familiar term to you. Those that fight with guns, cowards. You know you're not strong. You know you're weak. Look at yourself. You had no right. I pity you. Your coarse and tainted heart and your narrow view of the world. You would have to be so utterly miserable to be so close-minded and yet live in such a beautifully diverse world. My father, the apple of our eyes, Abdel Fattah Qasim, hear the name. I wonder if he was in pain, if he was frightened, and what his final thoughts were. And I wish more than anything in the world that I could have been there to hold his hand and tell him that it would all be okay. But I couldn't do that. I never would have ever imagined that the country in which my parents immigrated to for safety and for a successful future for their children would result in this. This didn't have to happen. In the end, love wins and love will always win. You paved the path you hoped would end in loneliness and in fear and division. Though instead, it's woven us a thread that is far more integral in the fabric of the New Zealand society than ever before. Ever before. I urge you to take a look around this courtroom and ask yourself, who exactly is the other here right now? Is it us? Or is it you? I think the answer's pretty clear. <laughs>